If you eat it, a sorbelli will come. It's time for more McMicroscopia and today, yeah, it's a bit of a gross one today actually. The first thing we've got is the owls get in trouble for leaving things in the fridge too long. Stuff like this happens to it. At least now I can pretend I did this on purpose. Oh my goodness. Furry bogging mould all over these lovely spaghetti hoops. Furry, without further mucking about, I have a wee scratch and see what's going on with that mould. It looks like a carpet. Very furry. I'm trying not to get too close. It's like woolly. It's green. Can you see the green? There, yeah, this bit's like green in the middle, like mold is, and then it's white. Here's a bit which hasn't got a green bit in the middle yet. Like a beautiful carpet over the spaghetti hoops. Wonderful. If you eat it, a sorbelli will come. I think a sorbelli will come. I've never eaten the mold on purpose anyway. There's a little bit of mould just coming out of the tomato sauce there. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Now I don't know how this mould grows because these have been in the fridge so I thought mould only liked it in warm places. That's what that disgusting mould looks like very close. Carpety. Let's have a look what a spaghetti hoop looks like up close. Translucent, which you don't really expect. That might be like the effect of the sauce on it. They're also very dotty, kind of like the watch strap. They don't they don't look dotty when you look at it like that but when you look at it through the microscope you see a lot of a lot of black dots in there or red dots, that may just be the sauce I don't fancy bringing one out and cleaning it with my tongue or anything like that not today, it's a bit boggy so that's that, put that back in the fridge give it another few weeks do maybe. the next thing is this um, but let's have a look at it under El Microscopio as well so there you can see the flesh of, this is where the stem came out there. Yeah. Flesh here, freshly sliced. Sliced that just now with a key knife. The juice in there, they're not filled all the way up to the top of the seeds. You can take these out, dry them on a bit of kitchen paper, soak them in vinegar for a bit, and then dry them on kitchen paper for a wee while until they're bone dry, and then you can plant them. You'll have your very own plant. You soak them in the vinegar that softens the husk simulates it being eaten by a bird and then pooped out. There's a the seed there, tiny. In the middle, fleshy again. Here's a seed that's fell out of it. Absolutely gruesome under the microscope. And it's covered in the uh, juice. Black dots on it as well. A bit lumpy at the top. There's the bit where the stem comes out. Furry in there. Skin, red as you like. Actually, it's quite rough. Very skinny. Very little tomato. So that's that. Tomato and mould. And now there's tomato juice on my desk. So that was Mick Microscopia for today. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.